Hey, and we're back. Thanks, folks. Hey, you know, Earl, I got... Hey. Where's Earl? What? Oh, sorry, folks. Earl had a little uh, wardrobe malfunction, so I guess you have to take care of that. Uh, one of the things I want to tell you about, we got to send a little special thanks out to one of our friends of our show up in Fairmont. And I want to thank Phyllis Ellis up at Fairmont Awards. She, uh, she made me my little sign here that's kind of my tribute to old Harry Truman, but with my, with my chicken processing plant, the cluck stops here. And, and Phyllis made that up for us. And she also, you know, you, you all know about the, the hogger, the great, the great golf trophy. That's one of Phyllis's works there too. So if you ever need anything like that or a trophy, stop up there and see Phyllis up in Fairmont. Anyway, folks, we're going to bring out our first guest right now. Uh, coming to us from Laverne, that's over in southwestern Minnesota there, we have Jane Lamphere and Matt Woodbloom. Hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks a lot for stopping oh, in to see us today. It's great to be here. Glad to have you guys here. Now, you guys are from Laverne, right? We are. So tell, let's tell everybody well, out here a little bit about Laverne. Laverne is a wonderful community in southwest Minnesota. We're the home of one of the four communities in Ken Burns' theatrical uh, the War, World War II documentary, and we're mm -hmm. the home of Jim Brandenburg, the Blue Mound State Park, Touch the Sky Prairie, and the Historic Palace Theater, and there's a lot to do in Laverne. Oh, wow, that's great. So now you're with the, the Chamber of Commerce, and, yes. and Matt, you're with the Cattlemen's Association. That right? is correct, the Rock Nobles Cattlemen Association. Mm -hmm. Super. Now, I guess what we're doing is we're, we're, we're celebrating a pretty big deal here. Mm -hmm. It's 50 years of... Hot dogs. 50 years of hot dogs. We've served over 500,000 hot dogs. 500,000. 500, hot dogs. That's in half a little million town folks. of 4,500 people. Every year for the last 50 years, we've had celebrated Hot Dog Night, where, where the members of the Chamber of Commerce give away free hot dogs to the public, sort of giving them, thanking them for their patronage over the years. 500,000 hot dogs? I'm afraid so. Wow, that's, that's a lot. So That's a lot of dogs. Now, I'm assuming then, Matt, these are, uh, are beef hot dogs, is that correct? Well, they will be this year. That's, ah, that's okay. been the disappointing, 500,000, but do they really count as any? <laughs> whether they're not beef based. You know whether they're right? real meat or not, right? Yeah, what you're exactly. Saying? Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're proud to partner with the, uh, the Laverne Chamber this year and put out uh, thousands of all natural beef hot dogs yeah, we, from Morel. Mm -hmm. We anticipate 10 to, we're going to give away 10 to 15,000 hot dogs this year. Really? And the, the beef producers have been kind of, they've felt kind of bad for it, that these poor people in Rock County have been eating, Rock and Nobles County, they've been eating imitation hot dogs. Oh, so when does this all take place? Uh, the big day is July 12th, and July it's going 12th. to be quite a celebration. So uh, now is that open to the public? Today? Oh, we everybody, invite right? everybody to come and join us. Okay, folks, we let's have... tell you what. Everybody out there, stop over July 12th. Hot dogs are on me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the best night to take somebody out to eat. There you go. It doesn't cost you a nickel. Because the only thing better than a good hot dog is another good hot dog. <laughs> and a free hot dog. And a free <laughs> hot dog at that. We can afford all of that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We have a lot of fun planned, and it's, it's great to partner with the Rock Nobles Cattlemen's Association and just have a... Whole, like we're the ketchup and mustard to their dogs. Ah, okay. So, so I said, well, you so say you got some nice looking buns there, Matt. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there other stuff going on oh, that weekend too? Oh, it, you know, it started with a simple, let's give hot dogs and beverage to everybody, and it's sort of grown from there. And we've have a lot of events that go on. So we have, we have the spot, the local dance company they're dancing we have taekwondo demonstrations and it's really exciting this year because i just yesterday i met with some members of the rock nobles cattlemen's board and we've negotiated we always hit we've had for this will be the eighth annual wiener dog races now oh. start oh this is we Those have dachshunds from the tri-state region come for this oh, no, wonderful fun. race we've had 65 to 100 Wiener dogs running races. Really? And this, I mean, you know, it's a big contest. They've been practicing all year. It's really something. So that, you know, that, that's, that's really a sanctioned thing, you know, because a lot of people think that the only reason people go to wiener dog races is they want to see 
a wiener dog crash. Oh. But this is the real thing. This is the real thing, and I mean, we take this really seriously because we have the Rock Veterinary Clinic. We have medical services right there. Wow. Like I said, we, I talked to the cattlemen, some members of the board, and they're going to have all the board members raced, and the three fastest board members are going to judge the wiener dog races. Oh, so Matt, that's where you you guys come in there. I mean, obviously with the hot dogs and that, but what where, where else are you guys involved in the... In well, we're very, we're good at rustling cattle, so we thought it would be a natural <laughs> fit for us to be in kind of as the wranglers of the dogs. Oh, wrangling the dogs, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yes, and that's... You use smaller lassos. <laughs> you do, it. You just lie everything. Hard to heal them, isn't it, when they're that, that close to the ground? But. And miniature horses, too. It's, oh, there you go. <laughs> it's all mini. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and that's not only, they're also going to judge the Wiener Dog beauty pageant. I mean, that's not, I mean, we just don't have races. We have you get, a Wiener Dog. So you dog. got some good looking Wiener Dogs, Oh, too. I tell you, you should see their, their, I mean, we have evening gowns. We have a swimsuit competition. I mean, it's a big deal. I tell you, we have taught the most beautiful dogs in southwestern Minnesota. Well, you know, talking about beautiful dogs, I understand that there's like a competition to, to create a beautiful hot dog also. Oh, that's that's really a serious thing you know art is becoming more and more important in our community we have a real thriving arts organization and so they decided the Rock County Fine Arts Association is sponsoring the hot dog fine art contest they have to be made of at least one all beef dog and other food products to oh, yeah. make this wonderful work of art. And we've had students at the Laverne High School be, have been practicing for weeks. And we even brought a couple samples. Oh, we got samples here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Are they this. great? Of course, this is a three person hot dog car. There's like a little minivan there. I almost. know yeah. it. Isn't it very nice? Little family Look van. At that. And we have some new creations. We have some, I'm not quite sure what they are, but uh, they're quite. Adorable. Well, there's your little wiener dog there. Well, yeah. little wiener dog, curly tail and all. And I'm not sure what this is, but it, it must be something from outer space, but it's quite, uh, it's its own piece of art. Last year, we had something new that was introduced into mm. Hot Dog Night that was pretty exciting. We had the first ever Wiener Man Triathlon. We actually had last year, we had 15 four person teams participate in this Wiener Man Triathlon. Wow. And it is a eating, running, swimming, and biking contest. Oh, so they throw that throw throw in the extra the eating part there. You have to eat. Everybody eats a hot dog. Then they run. Then there's the first leg is the running competition, and you eat. And th you know we have wonderful restaurants in Laverne, and so these great chefs in Laverne have volunteered to make creative dishes with all beef dogs. With all beef hot dogs. Oh, of course. And so we have hot dog pizza hot dog cupcakes, hot dog linguine, all those things are included in the selection these athletes eat that's, that's for really the night. So it's a lot of fun. And to watch them, I mean, it's a fierce competition. Yeah, so now Matt, with the, your, uh, the Cattlemen's Association, what other things are you, are you guys involved with there? Well, that's our main involvement right now with uh, just supporting the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce and their efforts to, uh, to promote Laverne. And we obviously like to do our part to help promote beef mm -hmm. because uh, that's a major part of uh, the economy in southwest Minnesota. What's for dinner? A lot of cattle raised in uh, Rock and Nobles County. Mm -hmm. So we're certainly proud to bring the beef dogs to town. Oh, that's great. You know, I really want to thank you guys for stopping by. Oh, this has been an honor to be here. been fabulous. Um, you know, one of the things that we do when we're here, we, we have some little... Uh, spotlights of, of things that are going on outside our little county here. Would you want to stick around and see one with us? Oh, I I'd would love, love it. Oh, love it. Folks, stick with us. We'll be right back. Sister, I can't believe Mama made us move up north. This isn't a plantation, it's a farm. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. Now, just the other night, we visited that fine community, and I think we're going to be just fine, don't you? Why, well, sister. I think you're right. Bena Vista County. With a population of about 775, Sioux Rapids, Iowa is hidden in the gentle rolling Iowa Hills in the northernmost part of Bena Vista County. The first settler in Bena Vista County, Abner Bell, located in this area and is a part of a complex of historic buildings. The community displays his cabin, an 1875 county schoolhouse, as well as the old Sioux Rapids Theater Museum. The town is home to several churches, including Catholic, Lutheran, Baptist, and Methodist denominations. 
Sioux Rapids also has a swimming pool, an American Legion post, a community center, and various local businesses. Area visitors and residents enjoy a wealth of outdoor recreational opportunities at the nearby Gabrielson County Park on Gustafson Lake, where there's a sandy swimming beach, picnic areas, with a playground for children. The Little Sioux connects to Lynn Grove and makes for great canoeing. Sioux Rapids hosts an annual Tall Corn Days. In the past, this has included a parade, a street dance, sweet corn feed, a 5K run, and various sports tournaments. The other night I found one wonderful little place, and I'm going to tell you all about it. In the Des Moines River Valley, Esterville, Iowa, was named in honor of Esther Ridley, the wife of Robert E. Ridley, one of the men who plotted the town. It was during the summer of 1857 that settlers first arrived in what would become Emmett County and for which they would name Esterville as the county seat. Esterville holds a particularly important place in history because on May 10, 1879, a 455-pound meteorite fell to the earth just a few miles north of town, known as the Esterville Meteorite. It burrowed 15 feet into the ground where it struck. Portions of the meteorite are now on display in Esterville Public Library, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., and the Nature Historics Museum in Vienna, Austria. Esterville holds another interesting claim to fame. It was here that the word blizzard was coined and used in print on April 23, 1870, by the editor, the town newspaper. Today, Esterville's nearly 6,400 residents support a vibrant community that offers many opportunities for people interested in history, nature, athletics, outdoor recreation, shopping, and great dining. Each year, Esterville holds Sweet Corn Days, which is considered to be the festival to end all festivals. The celebration includes free sweet corn, a parade, car show, children's games, golf, a street dance, craft fair, river float, fireworks, and a wonderful variety of food vendors. All right, folks, hey, thanks again for stopping by. We really appreciate it very much. Looking forward to being over there and seeing you guys. Take care. Hey, Matt, leave those dogs on that table over there. We'll, uh, we'll take care of those for you. Well, that was fun. Earl. Earl, where have you been? Well, you know, I had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction, and so I had to go off and change. I know you can't hardly tell, but I had to go okay. off and change. And everything. But anyway, who was... Did, oh, that was well, I was gone. Did I miss the guest? You, you missed the guest. You missed... Yeah. <laughs> that, that was Jane and Matt. They're from Laverne. Okay. And... I, Laverne has the 50th anniversary of hot dog night. So what do you think, Earl? Pretty nice art there, don't you think? That is kind of neat. You know, I'm wondering. It looks quite edible. They do. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, which one do you want? I'm I, I thinking, can go for this, like one. this one. one. Excuse me, guys. I forgot my dogs. <laughs> but, uh, well, I guess we better find out what but, happens. Uh, 